My name is Amy and I live in Southern California, which is known for its sunny weather. I live in a city an hour away from Los Angeles downtown. I'm glad that I'm close to Disneyland, Hollywood, Universal Studios, and the beautiful beaches at Pacific Coast Line. I am a mother of two teenagers and I am living in a fast-paced world in California, which is an ideal place for dreamers like me. When my children were little, life was so chaotic. Having a full-time job, taking care of the kids, and managing the household were so stressful. When my kids were younger, my days were filled with driving the kids to school, helping them with their homework, taking them to their extracurricular activities such as piano lessons, ice skate, swimming, taekwondo, taking them to Bible study in the church, taking them to their dental and medical appointments. I also do cooking and cleaning the house. I was so busy. Even if I want to slow down, I didn't have a choice because that's how it is. Our family needs two incomes. My husband and I have to work to provide for the family. I was able to breathe better when my kids were homeschooled during the pandemic because I stopped all their extracurricular activities. But on the other hand, as a healthcare worker, during the pandemic, life was also full of anxiety and fear. I was so scared that I might acquire COVID-19 and spread the virus to my aging parents who already have pre-existing conditions. Thank God all of us at home were safe and no one was infected with COVID-19. Because of the pandemic, I became more grateful to God for my existence and told myself, indeed, life is short. Life is full of uncertainties. Since my husband and I came from the third world country Philippines, we've been grabbing the opportunities of having decent jobs here in the U.S. That's why we work hard, but not to the point of being workaholic. I am grateful that I was able to achieve my American dream, to live in California, to experience prosperity, and have a better life. Since I came from a third world country, I dreamt big. I have big goals and I put pressure on myself to achieve them. And as you have higher position in your work, it also resulted to high standard of living, resulting to more demands for comfort and luxuries. Not only that, in our society, if you have noble job and hold higher positions, people expect you to have a big house, drive a nice car, take extravagant vacations, and buy luxurious clothes and bags. There is a lot of pressures to stand out, to be always the best, to acquire higher position, and to live the best life. It's okay not to live a simple and boring life, but 
it's also okay to live a simple and boring life. It's absolutely fine to aspire for higher position, to drive a nice car, or to have a big house. But there's also nothing wrong with not wanting those. As I get older, I realize that if I don't start escaping the rat race right now, when am I going to start? I'm already on my 40s. I realize that money isn't everything and living a simple, peaceful life is more important. I realize that I need to simplify my life and start escaping the rat race, which I know takes time and consistency at the beginning. It is my conscious choice to simplify my life. It is not easy to start quitting the rat race and live a simple life, but it is absolutely possible. Keeping up with the Jonases is quite exhausting. That's why I would like to live a slow, simple, and boring life. Well, actually, I always tell my friends, I want to get bored. I miss the feeling of getting bored. Since I am a busy person, I have a full-time job, and a mother of two teenagers, I don't have time to experience boredom. Now, I prefer to have a slow, simple, and boring life. When I live simply, the more that I feel less burnt out. So what are the benefits of living a slow, simple, and boring life? First, I don't have to worry about keeping up with the Jonases. I am more content and need to be content with what I have. Living a slow, simple, and boring life allows me to feel more thankful for what I have. I realize that simple life can bring great pleasures. It also frees me incredibly from too much anxiety and pressure. I am embracing the slow living lifestyle. I am calmer, more at ease, and, hi- and I have more patience. I have more time and attention to what matters most and those are my loved ones. Having a slow, simple, and boring life just feels great. I have less stress and anxiety, which is needed to boost my mental health. When I feel less stress, I have less headaches, less aches and pains. I don't have gastrointestinal symptoms anymore. I have more time to exercise or walk in the park, which makes me healthier. Now that I started practicing simple living, I have more gratitude because I have the time to focus to people and simple pleasures. I would say that I am experiencing greater happiness since I started to live a boring life because I am more appreciative and I have more time and energy to pay attention to those around me.